This is a film about what's happening now. What I have learned from quite an early age was the art. He's been to prison. There's two, type of, two types of politicians in this country. Welcome to another EWN exclusive close-up. We are hanging with Mr. Kenny Kunene. You know why? Not because of the sushis or parties or anything like that. You do know political elections are around the corner. It's the national elections. Patriotic Alliance is one of the parties to vote for. So we caught up with Mr. Kunene himself to find out about uh, why he joined politics and what he's doing here in the EWN building. Mr. Kunene, <laughs> are, you my, are you my boss? I'm good. Cool, I'm cool. Good, good to good. see yeah. you. We're going to get straight into it. Yeah. My first question. Businessman turned political man why did you join politics i've i've always in, been in politics we've always been in politics you've always been in politics we make political comments all the time because politics affect our everyday life with the dissatisfactions at the anc with the disappointments uh, at eff um, I realized that, you know, for me to find a political home where there'll be serious political will that focuses on people, not on self, uh, I decided to form a political party, not myself alone, but getting McKenzie and like-minded people uh, that we were consulting with. So it is not a Kenny Gunene party, it is not a getting McKenzie party. It is a party of those who came together and realized that we really need uh, leadership that will really speak to the needs of the people on the ground. Um, there was rumors of your relationship with Gate and McKenzie not being 100% okay. I mean, it was just a rumor, and obviously you mm -hmm. can douse the rumor if it's not true. But uh, how's your relationship now? Um, pre the party and now that you are doing Patriotic Alliance, how, how are things? Gate and myself, we have a relationship that is very, very abnormal. Uh, um, many people have said that. Our brotherhood can never, can never be weak. It can never be weakened. Mm. Uh, it has never gone bad. It has never gone sour. Um, it has been always strong, and it remains that strong. Julius Malema, Gaten McKenzie, the open letter. What's your thoughts on that? I think it was a, a very good open letter. Um, it, it, it raised issues that are known. Julius also accepted that. But what this letter, I think, sought to achieve was to show a trend in Julius's character. To say, this is, this is the trend. This is who this person is. And if, if we are not careful, this, is, this person is going to run this country into this. Because for many years, he has been doing the same things and you know uh, dictators uh, when historians write about dictators they always show the same thing there's there's a thread a common thread so i think that that's what the letter sought to to to, to show let's lighten things up i think we're getting too politically heavy <laughs> um the comedy central roast yeah uh, it was recently flighted i do yeah. know that it was recorded some time ago yeah how did it feel to be in the presence of the guys of like <laughs> Jimmy Carr? I mean, he's, he's internationally acclaimed. And look, uh, how did that feel, just, just being there, the experience alone? Look, uh, you should ask them how did they feel to be in the presence <laughs> of a larger than life Kenny Gunene, <laughs> who is also international. You know? <laughs> but look, uh, I think um, I, was, I was humbled because, you know, comedy central roasts are not just about making fun of you, it is celebrating your life. Mm. because. You cannot roast any dictator Jabulani. Mm. You have to roast somebody who have impacted society in one way or the other, be it positive or negative. You were seen at the Oscar Pistorius bail hearing. Yes. Um, what are your thoughts on the trial, the murder trial that's currently ongoing? Uh, it's a very complicated trial. Uh, I hear a lot of people on radio, so-called analysts, very opinionated people, but I must tell you, it is a very complicated trial. Okay. Uh, before you ask me why didn't I attend the trial, yeah. when I went... <laughs> when he just took over. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is taking over. He's That's taking me, over. eh? <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, yes. <laughs> when, when, when it was his bail hearing, when he got arrested, I had time on my hands. And uh, I, could, I could arrange my things in such a way that, you know, I could go to court, support my friend. And... Uh, now 
the trial began at a time when one was busy with a political program, okay. which demands time from me. So I do not have time. But uh, maybe after elections, uh, you know, there's still a lot that is going to be done politically and business-wise. Um, but when there's time, I'll still go and support him. So, what do you think of Nkandla? <laughs> That's not a response, Kenny. I'm not smiling. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it's a problem for the ANC. Okay, cool. Um, Etols, what do you think of Etols? Very unnecessary. 20 years of democracy, what, 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 what does that mean to you? Progress. Kazi Chiefs or Orlando Pirates? Chiefs. <laughs> Real Madrid or whoever's winning at uh, uh, the semi-final today. Oh, so you're a Real Madrid fan. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think that's us here from another EW and close up the political. The only version. thing I want to mention is, look, uh, guys, go vote Patriotic Alliance. We've been to prison. There's two type of two types of politicians in this country. Those who've been to prison, gone into politics. Those who are in politics on their way to prison. Rather vote for those who have been there because they know it's burning in hell <laughs> and they will deliver for you. Another, um, yeah, it's a, it's a political version of the EW and Close Up, joined by Mr. Kenny Kunene. Thank you so much, Shut Mr. Sushi vote. King. That's Thank it from you. us. We are here. Happy voting, 7th of May. Get to the polls and vote. Jacob Mushokwa, Eyewitness News.